is the word of God. My life, life is about to begin forever. forever. I refuse, I refuse to, remain to remain the same. The same. All, All the promises the of God for my life. My life. Yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 yes, and amen. amen. I agree with God. Agree with God. Thank, you, Thank you, Lord. Lord, Lord make, a change make a change in my life forever. Change my heart. Help me to be in tune with, with my Jesus. Oh, the Spirit. Holy you did me Holy every step of the way. I agree with God. I agree with God. Jesus. 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 The friend that moved mountains. Faith and move mountains. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. So many aspects of this faith that we need to discuss. Faith that move mountains. There's a word of caution. The caution is this. Where is your faith? Who is your faith in? We are, a lot of people have been taught. That if you just believe hard enough, whatever you say you will have, you can have what you say. If you just believe hard enough, mm. just keep on saying, just keep on believing it, and then one day it will happen. No! I'll prove it to you in the Bible. Our faith depends on obeying God wholeheartedly. Yes. If you want to resolve all the time, if you, want to, if you don't fake moving a mountain or pretend like moving a mountain when the mountain is not moving, don't have a pretend moving mountain. Yeah. Don't have a pretense that the mountain is moving when it's not moving. Amen. I'm not here to make you feel good. I'm here to for a life changing and, and, and encounter yeah, with God. Yeah. God love you. The kind of teaching we've been getting a, a lot of times is not the kind of thing that will sustain you when things get tough. Yes. You have been told, all oh, you gotta do is give a life to Jesus and everything will go recreate and then everything. No, 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 it's really that. You have to go through some test mm -hmm. and try. Sometimes God will warn us, we are about to go through some things, then before from your prayer life, I say, Lord, you know something? Thank you for letting me know. And then you pray. And then you really, really pray. Thank you, Jesus. Something very interesting happened. The Lord told Peter, he said, Simon, Simon, Satan have desired to have that he received you as a wheat. He said, but I've prayed for you that your faith will not fail. Alleluia. Jesus did not pray for him that he didn't go through anything like we, like we like to go. For the, for Christians that don't want to go through anything, they just want to reign with him. They don't want to, they don't want to go through any trouble or, or building of character. Yes. The people that go with God have to build your character. Say, I want to build your character. Alleluia. And when nobody is watching, we still walk in holiness. Alleluia. Come on, talk to me now. Alleluia. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Those are building character. Thank you, Jesus. So when God cautions us, we have to be extremely careful. Extremely careful. Luke chapter 22, verses 31 to 34. Luke 22, verses 31 to 34. When God cautions us, sometimes I give us a dream, if I give us a vision, I have somebody talk to us, and, and, and you sense that it's God speaking to you, then make a change. Pray. Be cautious. Yes. Amen. When you see a sign on the road that says, oh, it's slippery. Or the road might, road might be closed, but it might be flooded. What do you do? You are cautious. cautious. But many, many things, when God warns us, we just keep going like he didn't say anything. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. Luke chapter 22, verses 31 to 34. Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift you, all of you as a wheat. Yes. But I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail. Mm -hmm. That your faith may not fail. Many people want to work with God, but they don't want to have any testimony. A testimony is a test that you go through, and you go through successfully through the help of God yeah. without quitting. Thank so next time you have a strengthen the brethren next time. They overcame with the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Come on, you're going to be tested, you can have a testimony. Amen. Keep quitting when trouble comes. Keep giving up when trouble comes. It's probably to be part of the building of you. So next time you can resolve on that. Be like David, the same God that delivered him from the paw of the bear and the paw of the lion. Who delivered him from this uncircumcised for this shall be as one of them? Why? He had a testimony. Come on. He went through a test before. 
Are you listening to me? Yeah. So as a Christian, as a people of God, expect to go through a test. And don't be surprised when you're going through a test. Hold on to your faith in God. Yeah. When you pass through waters, I'll be with you. Yeah. Through the fire, you shall not be born. Through the rivers, you shall not overflow you. I am the Lord your God. I will never leave you nor forsake you. That you may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Are you listening to me? Hey, hallelujah. So Simon, Simon, sit down and desire to see if all of you are sweet. But I pray for you, Simon, that your faith will not fail. If you're going through changes as long as you hold on to your God, your faith will not fail. Some people have a frail faith. Some people have a, a faith that don't depend on God. Mm. If you don't stand firm in your faith, you will not stand firm at all. Are you yeah, listening? Yeah, right. So when things are going crazy, hold on to God, because He see you through. God will pull you through if you can stand the pool. Hallelujah. God, hold on. Don't, don't, do quick. don't do give up. Amen. God is not a man that he should lie. Or son of man that he should repent. If he call you mother conqueror, that's what he meant. If he call you above me, I love me, that's what he meant. If he call you <laughs> head and not detail, that's what he meant. Amen. So good, stop putting on God just because you don't go the way you want it to go. Yes. Yes. Amen. He said, I prayed for you. He didn't, he didn't pray that he won't go through. He said, I prayed for you that you, your faith will not fail. See, when you sift in, only the soft don't go through the sifter. You gotta be coarse. Yeah. No matter how much you sit, if it's bigger than the hole, it won't go in. Okay. It won't go down. God is saying, I'm with you, you're not going down, you're going over. Yeah. Yeah. Then we can sit all the, when, when the guy too tired of sitting, he's still up there. Yeah. Why? Well, because we got God. They've gone for us who can be against us. Yeah. He that did not spare his only begotten son, but have him delivered for us all. I shall do not freely give to him, give us all things. Okay. It's the glory and the lifter of our head. It's the auto and the finisher of our faith. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than You can make it today. You are more than conqueror, whether you feel like it or not. You are above only and nobody, whether you feel like it or not. You are the head and not the tail. Whether yes. you know, what you feel doesn't matter. Because it's the strength of God. Yeah. Let the book say, I'm strong in the strength of the Lord. Lord. Hey! Praise His holy name. I pray for you that your faith will not fail. So if you try not to go through anything, look again. <laughs> it's not a true faith. Because the faith has not been tested. Mm -hmm. Faith that, that is not tested cannot be trusted. Honeymoon is not a marriage, it, it, it's not a measure of marriage. It's a honeymoon. Yeah. You stay in your hotel room and press the button. Yeah, give me some fried fish and some uh, yeah, bring some coke. <laughs> so yeah, and, and bring some rock to go with it. Yeah, can I have uh, what the, what what does you want, honey? <laughs> When the honeymoon is over, you better bring the pot out. Amen. <laughs> and start making some chicken. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you like. Big right. <laughs> 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 chicken. Big chicken. I'm passionate to chicken, you know. Chicken. I can't go to chicken. But I say, calm down. All I want is a drum stick. You the crazy. <laughs> I thought I was a drumstick. Good day, good. Okay. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. So I pray for you that the faith will not fail. And when you have turned back, when you have been strengthened, strengthen your brothers. How do you do this? True testimony. It's after you go through and your faith did not fail, then let people know. So many people are ashamed to testify. I don't know what they're ashamed of. It's like, it's like God never did anything for them. That's what we come together as a Christian. Mm -hmm. They ever came with the blood of the Lamb and the water of their testimony. Oh, testify. Yeah. You got to do something in your life. Open your mouth and say thank you. Oh, yeah. Open your mouth and say thank you. Amen. Don't make you feel like God is not doing anything for you. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. wow. In the assembly of the people are proclaiming his praise. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I'm going somewhere. Amen. After you've been turned back, trusting your brothers. But he replied, Lord, isn't that what I was telling you? Jesus told him, say, hey, you're about to go through some things. Yes. Satan has desired to, to sift you. Satan asked me for permission to sift you. Yes, mm. Satan cannot do anything to you unless he asks permission from God. Yes. Satan has, he has asked to sift you. Yes. <laughs> he desired to sift you as a witch. He said, but I pray for you that your faith will not fail. Yes. If your faith doesn't fail, you're going to have a testimony. Yes. Strengthen your brother with a testimony. Yes. Instead of saying, Lord, thank you for letting me say, Yeah, Lord, I'm willing to die with you. You just missed it. I thought you were going to be going through some changes. Instead of praying, you try to front of the Lord, I'm willing to die with you. Yeah. Now, does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. Cautious. Be cautious. You're about to go through. Mm -hmm. You're about to be sitting as a wheat. What's his response? Oh, no, I'm willing to die with you. 
Is that prayer? No. no. Put it up front. Now, I'm, going to, I'm telling you, man, let me read it. God just finished telling you we're going to go through a test. But I'm, I pray for you that the faith will not fail. So what's the next response? Prayer. Yeah. Lord, help me to go through it. Yeah. That's not what he said. No. But when you see, both of them negate what, what, what just went. Look, look at them. See. But he replied. Verse 33. But he replied, Lord, I'm ready to go with you to prison and to death. Jesus answered, I tell you, Peter, before the rooster crows today, you will deny three times that you know me. <coughs> Since you didn't take heed, I, I give you a word of caution. Mm -hmm. And they said, Oh, I'm willing to just die with you. Don't worry about it, Lord. As if God did not say anything. As if Jesus did not say anything. Right. God will give you a dream and vision, a word of caution. What do you do? Pray. Amen. Don't just ignore it as a way. That's right. It's as if Jesus did not say anything to him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Faith that moves mountains. Wow. You cannot move mountains in your own strength. Yeah. Some people just believe if you just pray enough, and if you say it enough and keep on confessing it enough, you're going to have it. No. You know why you don't, can, you don't have it? You, cannot, you may not have it because Jesus Christ said, listen to me, it's a prime example. He said, I don't do anything on my own. I only do what I see my father do. Let God show you something before you start believing. Yeah. You don't move a mountain in your own strength without God. Without me, you can do nothing. Hallelujah. You don't move a mountain in your own strength. That, that's what's been killing the church folk. Many church folk have been believing in God for something that they never start with God. <coughs> that God never asked them to. Never, they never check. They just start quoting the scripture and believing in God. And, Who told you? Who talked to you? Yeah. Where, where's the rhema? Where's the revelation that goes with it? Yeah. So this kind of teaching is not popular. Right. But don't say it. Trying to get a pie in the sky. Bring me to the table and cut me a slice. <laughs> Bring the pie to the table and cut me a slice. Amen. Let me test it with some ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. It's bad to have it on the table and have a slice mm. that keep on believing in pie in the sky. Because right. if you're not connected with God in obedience, it will be impossible to move the mountain. Amen. Wow. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. John chapter 5, John 5, verse 16 through 19. I'm going to tell you now how you don't move a mountain in your own strength. You move a mountain through the help of God. Hallelujah. You don't move a mountain because if you just believe long enough, just find a verse of the Spirit and believe long enough. What happened to your opinion? So it's possible if that is the only reason why you're trying to get something from God, what will happen if, if you walk in disobedience, you marry with everybody, unforgiveness, bitterness, you're just believing in God long enough with that scripture? So you can, it doesn't happen that way. Jesus is a prime example. Say, I don't do nothing on my own. I only do what I see my father do. So what do you see your father do? Are you connected? Do you work in forgiveness? Are you bitter? Are you mad with everybody else in town? Are you jealous when somebody else is promoted? Hallelujah. Different aspects. In the church, in the, in, in the establishment, in the, at work, people have different functions that they do. Stay in your own function. Let yeah, anybody, yeah, yeah. Let somebody do their own function. Yeah. Don't try to do everything by yourself. Yeah. Amen. Because it's distributed. Amen. It's impossible yeah. for one person to be in charge of everything, to do everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you hurt yourself yeah. if you try to do everything. You don't have to do anybody else's job. Stay in your lane, do what you're told to do, and be encouraged and keep the faith. Be secure yeah. in your position. Yeah. At work, at church, wherever, be secure in your position. Yes. <coughs> There's enough for everybody. Yeah. It bothers me when somebody says, I said, so, how are you doing? Uh, how are you? So which one are you? Oh yeah, I'm an apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, I'm, I'm, I'm all of them. You are? <laughs> you are? Oh, you're going to bother me? You really bother me. <laughs> <laughs> Only Jesus can do that clean. Yeah. The rest of us. Right. Here you are. A teacher, a prophet is prophesying, and then you're getting jealous. Mm. When we get to your position, teach with all your might. Mm. Bring the insight to the situation without being jealous of, of the prophet. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you have a problem in the church. 
Everybody want to do everything. everything. Teacher want to be a prophet, because prophet is prophesying. <laughs> prophet, prophet want to be evangelist. So that is all messed up, because we feel insecure. Let whoever God have sent to do something, live it there. Let them do it. Encourage them to do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, because we're in the same team. Yeah. Yes. We're in the same team. Yeah. I see that what people try to do, they try to tell you how to do your job. They just want to do everybody's job. They get in everybody's way and they make everybody mad. And nobody like them. Right. Right. But they make everybody mad. They're just trying to do everybody's job. Hallelujah. Because they're insecure in what they are assigned to do. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. John chapter 5. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. John 5, 16 through 19. So because Jesus was doing these things on the Sabbath, the Jewish leaders began to persecute him. In his defense, Jesus said to them, My father is always at his work to this very day. And I too am walking. Yes. For this, they tried the more to kill him. Not only was he breaking the Sabbath, he was even calling God his own father, making himself equal with God. Yeah. Verse 19. Jesus gave them this answer. Very, very truly I say to you, the son can do nothing by himself. He said, I empty myself so I can show you how to do, do it. Don't do nothing by yourself mm -hmm. so you can move mountain. Move mountain through the help of God and the trust in God. Your trust in God to move in the mountain, not in yourself without trusting. Not in yourself, just trying to believe it long enough and, and just keep on believing and just keep on confessing. Yeah, you're working enough forgiveness, bitterness, late to work, maybe with everybody in town, or you confessing. I'm just confessing. But in truth, some can do nothing by himself. He can only do what he sees his father doing. Because whatever the father does, the son also does. That's the key, that's the secret to the same faith that moved the mountains. Get with yeah. God in prayer. Yeah. Be obedient yeah. in your work with God so God can show you what He have in store for you. Once God shows you what He have in store for you, you can take it on the path. Heaven and I shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. The Lord told Zerubbabel, said, my hand have started it, your hand have started this thing, and your hand will finish it also. And they will know that I am the Lord. Whatever I start, I always finish. Jesus Christ said, hey, some can do nothing on his own. That's because he emptied himself. He wants to show us how to do it. Yeah. He wants to show us how to move the mountain. Yeah. That's why the disciples could yeah. not cast out the devils. Because they're trying to cast out the devil in their own, in their own strength. Mm -hmm. That Bartimaeus was crying. Son of David, have mercy on, have mercy on me. You know, he said, be quiet. He's crying after us. How many sons of David do you have in the crowd? How many sons of David do you have in the crowd? Come on, he's crying after us. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Son of David, have mercy on me. Mm -hmm. They said, oh, be quiet. They said, he's crying after us. After us. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there's only one Jesus there. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> For one is not good, they're they crying after us. Read the Bible. Say, be quiet. He's crying after us. After us. How many son of David do you have in there? One. Yeah. One. So what, what, what's the cry, what does the crying after us mean? That means hanging around there, nothing long enough to think you can do without God. Do yes, sir. Hallelujah. No matter how long you hang around there, nothing. Yeah. Never think you can do without God. Yes. Hallelujah. Let God reveal things to you. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. Let God reveal it to you. Once it's revealed by God, take it to the bank, hold on to it. Only God has the right to call things which we don't know they are. Most, this is what Jesus is doing. He said, yeah. some can do nothing by himself. Well, because he can't do himself to show us how to do it. He said, if you want to do it, let, 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 let my father show you. Hallelujah. Let my father show you what's next. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The secret of God is with them that fear the Lord. If you are God fearing people, you put a hope in God, you depend on him. You decide to do his will when nobody is watching. Watch out! Yeah, yeah, yeah. God will begin to reveal things. He said, you are my friend if you do what I ask you to do. Yes. Yes. And, and, and God was about to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. He said, I don't do anything without talking to my friends, my friend Abraham. He talked to Abraham about what he was about to do. He was about to destroy a whole city. And he was talking to Abraham. 
He said, you're my friend if you do what I tell you to do. So many people are not God's friend because they won't do what they tell them to do if it's not convenient. Right. And they want to move mountain, dream on, <laughs> keep the pie in the sky. Oh, <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. He said, I'm going to do what I see my father do. Yes. I'm going to do what I see my father do. He can do nothing by himself. We need to come up to that with that conclusion. Yeah. With, by myself, I can do nothing. Amen. If I plan, Amen. If you can move a, you can move a uh, fake mountain, you can move a mountain in your mind, mm. but not rely. I rely. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm sure you want the problem to move in real life, not just imagine it moving without moving. <laughs> See, if you imagine your problem moving and it's not moving, you got a problem. <laughs> you got to move for real. Yeah, I got to depend on God for you to move for real. Yeah, God make it that way so we don't depend on our own. We go on the tangent. That's yeah, huh? like some folk do. Mm. After a little while, they pretty for a little while, they think, boy, I must be God by now. So they crying after us. After us, only one of the sons of David. Those of us are disciples. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we do what the Father does? Because whatever the Father does, the Son also does. Mm-hmm. Whatever the Father does, the Son also does. How can you say that? I told you we were praying. I was reading the Bible one time and I found out a place mm-hmm. where God gave Isaac a, 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 a wife through Abraham chief servant. I said, Lord, that's what I want. If you can do that for them, do it for me. I don't want to pick, I don't know what I want in your wife. I don't want to start idea of what I want. You, you pick for me, Lord. Whatever you pick for me, that's what I take. Mm. You, know what Lord, you know what the Lord said to me? Some we are not here yet. From time to time when I'm praying, not even asking for this song, we are not here. And I understand it was telling me, I understood it was telling me, no, not yet. I know somebody else will show. Hey, how are you? Go. Wow. So sometimes we can be so eager yeah. to overrule God because we want to be there when God is not there. And that's why you get stuck with the wrong person. Mm-hmm. You get stuck with the wrong vision. Mm-hmm. You do your own thing because you got stuck before God was ready. Mm-hmm. Everything happened in God's timing. Mm-hmm. It happened in God's timing. It took 42 generations for Christ to come. 42 generations. Can't it just come the following day? <laughs> like we want it to happen? Can't just be pregnant today and give back tomorrow and not wait nine months for the baby to develop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like we want it to be. Can't just give, get pregnant today and tomorrow morning you have a baby so you don't have to wait for your nine months for the baby to develop? Because okay. that's, that's what we want it to be. Okay. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God in the earth and happy be unto all men. On the Faith that move mountains. You can move mountain through the help of God. Yeah. You can move mountain through your belief in God, through your submission to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Through, through God showing you what to do. Yes. God wants to show you I mean what to do so we don't be doing the hit and miss. Yes. See, if, we don't, if God did not show you what to do, then, then you're guessing. You don't want to guess miracles. Hallelujah. I don't want to guess miracles. I don't want to guess present the day. Right. I don't want to guess anything. Hallelujah. Yes. That's how people get disappointed and they quit on God because they try to do it without God's help and it didn't happen. Yes. So they quit on God. Too many quitters. Why? Get with God. Yeah. If you are abiding me, I'm about abiding you. You should ask me whatever you want, and I'll do it for you. If you are abiding me, come on. Come yeah. in. Don't stay in the outer court. Come to the inn only of the holies. Put your hope in me. Depend on the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run through it and they yeah, are safe. Stop playing yeah. around. Yeah. Yeah. And, start, and start doing this when it's convenient. Come on in. And whether, whether you like it or not, do it. I don't want to tell you. Give it Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. Because everything has him to do, he did. Yeah. Everything, not some things. Be, love your wife. Be yeah. kind. Be compassionate to your wife. Yeah. No, they won't do it. Because since I because they had his heart in. Hallelujah. They don't want to be there yet. They aren't ready for that yet. Mm-hmm. And the people ask you, well, you know, spirit is with you, but the flesh is with God, you are perfect. Okay? When you're ready for a miracle, God will bring it back to you. God will bring it back to you. Respect your husband. Nah. Respect your husband. Nah. On the job very well, don't respect your husband. Nah. I see him. I see him in his brief. Nah. Yeah, but nothing. 
But you see, simple things that God will tell us to do, like it causes us a headache yes. when, when trying to move mountains. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Thank you. He is worthy. Worthy to be praised. Worthy to be praised. Worthy to be praised. Amen. John chapter 15, let's take a look at John 15, 5. St. John chapter 15, verse 5. This is extremely important. I'm just sharing with you how to move mountains through the help of God. Your faith can move mountains. If you have a faith of that, if you must have great sea, you said to the mountain to be moved and be cast to the midst of the sea. And if you believe that you doubt, it shall be as you say. What am I saying? I'm saying the faith of a mustard seed is a faith that don't quit. That don't, it grows under adverse conditions. But these are going crazy, stay with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> but I want to close the plan. Look at there's no money or no supply. Stay with God. Let me let you know the little secret. You know, if you go to a book of Genesis, it's very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Genesis 1. God was about to go, go make the, you know, the, made the sea, made the land, you know, it, it took the sea to move on one side and got the sea. This, it said, let this appear according to the land. You know what happened? God, God was about to, to make the vegetation, fruit and trees. It's go to the land, to the ground, to the land. And he said, let the land bring forth yes. some seed bearing fruit. Mm -hmm. The word of God. Yes. The land brought forth mm -hmm. seed bearing fruit, fruit after its own kind. There was nothing there before. The word of God was spoken to the land mm -hmm. and the land obeyed. Yes. What the God was spoken to the fish <laughs> and the son of Jonah. <laughs> what the God was spoken to the fish again and the son of Jonah. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. You know when God was ready to make, I like Jack Salmon. You know what happened? <laughs> when God was about to make this, God made the sea. When I was about to make the animals, I said, let this, let this sea be filled with all kinds of animals, all kinds of different creatures. Yeah. It's good to the sea. Mm -hmm. So the sea obeyed God. So the land obey God. So the will obey the, the hey. <laughs> obey God. Yeah. So what is that problem? Do you understand now? Yeah. In animal things obey God. Yeah. Follow some two fishes. He said it's gonna be enough. It multiply because you obey God. If yeah. bread obey God. Yeah. Fishes <laughs> obey God. Yeah. Amen. The trees obey, obey God. God. Yeah. The sea, let yeah. come between with creatures, obey God. Yeah. The land, where God was about to make the animals, say, let the ground, let the land come with the animals. Mm -hmm. All kind of moving things. Yes. Obey God. Yes. yes. We don't know how vast our God is. Hallelujah. That's how it goes so easy. Yeah. Just give up. Read the Bible, Genesis chapter 1 is what I'm talking about. Yes. Yes. The, the, I mean, I was amazed, I was blown away, like, oh, it's brought to the ground. From the ground came the animals. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's brought to the, to the ground. From the ground came the trees with seed and bearing fruit and everything that goes along with it. Yes. And then you worry about your house note. Mm -hmm. hmm. You summon the God that's brought to the ground, yes. to the land, yeah. and it brought forth all kinds of everything else. God told Ezekiah, when Shinakar was often and puffing, king of Assyria was often and puffing, he said, you're going to drink your own urine, you're going to help me in and everything. He said, this year you're going to eat what grow by itself. Yeah. And next year you're going to eat from that same that grow by Listen to me, if you look at it, <coughs> the original script, he said you're going to eat from, from the root. He didn't plant anything. From the root. That's all right. From the root. At that time, let me tell you something. See, before a good farmer know, there's a season to till the land, yeah. till the ground. Because yeah. if you don't take the ground, it will be too hard to bring things in. So king of Assyria helped them in. They were not able to take the ground when they are supposed to take the ground. So they didn't have enough grain, enough whatever they need to plant the seed. God said, I tell you what I'm going to do with you. This year you're going to eat what grow by itself. The whole Judah mm -hmm. with his king ate what grow by itself. Yeah. Well, how can it grow by itself? The root. The root. Yes. Not the seed, the root. The root. God can do whatever I want to do. Amen. If you used to bring forth, for two years, the, the, the Judah fell eight, for all group by itself. 
Two years. This year, going to even grow by itself. I thought it was supposed to be a seed. It was a root of the last harvest. So that means from that one seed, they had three years. Grew from the last harvest, brought forth something this year, and the following year, brought forth something enough for them to eat, and the third year, and enough for them to plant in the third year. From oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's God. Yeah. That's God's arithmetic. Yeah. Yeah. Figure it out. <laughs> okay. I can get to be fed for two years mm -hmm. and have enough seed for the third year to plant from one group by itself. Mm -hmm. See, we need to read the Bible and put a man on what you are reading. <laughs> Let it resonate in your spirit. Take and trust God all the way to move mountains on your behalf. Yeah. 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 So I'm speaking Greek, right? It grew by itself. He grew a child. He grew a child. Thank you, Jesus. John chapter 15, verse 5. Okay, and then I'm the vine, you have the branches. If you remain in me, and I and I in you, you bear much fruit. And apart from me, you can do nothing. Mm -hmm. See? We need to get that into our spirit. That apart from Christ, we can do nothing. Mm -hmm. When people have been telling you, oh, you guys just believe. Just find the verse of the scripture. If all things are possible to them that believe. Wow. Just believe. I just believe, I just believe. So you say it, you say it in the morning, say it in the afternoon. <laughs> But you are working with God, it's not showing you anything because oh, you're not asking God how to try to do miracles independent of God of miracles. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. And it ain't happening. Yes, so you have to fake it and push him down. Yes. Wow. So you get up and still sick. Oh, <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> if you remember me. Hallelujah. Verse 7. And my word remain in you. If you remain, if you remain in me, and my word remain in you. What does it mean by my word remain in you? What does that mean? I ask you to forgive, you forgive. My word remain in you. Yeah. I ask you to be kind, you be kind. Yeah. Obedient. You remain in me, and my word remain in you. Ask whatever you will, and I'll give it to you. But you see, people don't read that part. They just read, hey, whatever you ask, I'll give you. That's what they want to read. Yeah. <laughs> if you remain in me, and my word remain in you, If you remain in me, and my word remain in you. Wow. Thank God. To remain in me, or to, uh, apart from me, you can do nothing. Apart from me means to cut off from vital union with me. To be cut off from a vital union with me. Yeah. That's another way to not to remain in me. Hallelujah. Amen. If you keep my commandment, if you continue to obey my instructions, you will abide in my love. As I obey my father's commandment and I bear in his love. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Verse 7. If you remain in me and my word remain in you, ask whatever you wish. If you remain in me and my word remain in you. If you're obedient, if you're obedient to what I tell you to do, if you make up a man, I'm going to do what God says. So, so the faithful is himself. God will not deny himself. Are you listening? Yeah. God will not deny himself. That's right. God will not deny himself. God will not deny himself. Ask whatever you wish and be done for you. This is my father's glory that will bear much fruit, showing yourself to be my disciples. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. If you keep my commands, you remain in my love, because I keep my father's command and I remain in his love. You keep my commands. You keep my commands. Hallelujah. Because I got something to tell you. Do what I tell you to do. Oh. I tell you to love your wife, love your wife. Yes. Yeah. Be kind, be compassionate to your wife. Yes. Stop having a hard heart. Hallelujah. Respect your husband. Stop judge, being judgmental, be kind, be compassionate. Here you're trying to go to Africa somewhere, can't go take care of Jerusalem. Be kind to, to Jerusalem, please. Yeah. Don't be trying to go on the mission field <laughs> when your spouse yeah. ain't happy. Hallelujah. Trying to preach the word and, and the one for, for preachers have a raised nose. <laughs> if you don't know you ain't about anything, I don't. <laughs> Help us, Lord. If you keep my command, you okay, one oh, in the scripture. This is very, very interesting. Amen. Acts chapter 27. Uh, my time is up. Okay, time is up. We'll pick it up next week. Oh. Father, we thank you. We give you the good and the praise of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We call it the day.
Thank you.